Well, here we are, uh, Evansville, Indiana. I love the city. Five years I call this place my home. It's still kind of my home. It really is. And as a matter of fact, is that? Is that? Oh my God! It's Greg! Well, good evening, everybody. It's uh, Jeremy Fennick, Fennick on the Fox. Uh, glad to have you here in Evansville, Indiana today. That's right, we are traveled uh, to, I call this my second home. I actually lived here uh, for five years, from 1999 to late 2003. That's right, uh, I ran a radio station here for several years, uh, 106.1, KISS FM. Yeah, Evansville's best music, not just some of it. I'm sorry, no, it's all today's best music. Not just some of it. I know I'd figure it out. So spend some time on 104 FM, WIKY, Y107. Boy, I was on a lot of stations in Evansville. Well, what brings me here today is not just a, a good meeting with some old friends that I haven't seen in a while and another quick look at the old uh, courthouse. It used to look cooler with the... What happened to the copper to Anyway, this has my attention. Vintage bus rally here in Evansville, Indiana. We've got uh, classic uh, tour buses charter buses school buses there's a military bus over there as well pretty cool stuff let's go check it out uh, Ohio, California. hello kids that are jealous that I'm here looking at this awesome bus and you're back in Flint Michigan <laughs> say hi to my new friend Michael he's here this is his awesome bus look at it she's a beauty and she's a diesel now look don't those tires look amazing yeah they're new that's fantastic. He does a really good job keeping it. Look at look at that tire. Remember on mine, it rusted out completely. That looks brand new, brand spanking new. Get a look. Look at that, solid. See? Yeah. He's not gonna go through the floor. He went right on. See? Look at that. Even the little clip. Is it? What's this called? Is there a thing for that? That. Amazing. Looks good. Bus 15 is in great hands. In fact, it's in superior condition. <laughs> yep. There it is. There it is. Look. Ah, oh, she's so pretty. Sorry, Michael, I didn't mean to play with your bus door without asking your permission, but this is me asking for forgiveness. <laughs> well, I said enjoy, so. That's a nice bus. Nice bus door. Thomas bus here. Old Thomas bus here. You know thing? It's a stick shift. Yep. Look at this boy. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah.
so much fun at the Vintage Bus Rally. Made some great new friends, including uh, Michael's Bus 15 and, of course, Michael. Uh, but while in town, I also took a trip down memory lane, drove by some of my old homes. Uh, first, that studio apartment at Field and Court. Then there was that one bedroom uh, on North Fulton Avenue. Then I rented my very first house. It was my third place in Evansville, that little tiny thing on Michigan Avenue. Uh, then there was the house on Division, right off the Lloyd Expressway. Uh, then there was the duplex on Haven. And of course, the last place I stayed was over there on Roosevelt. Uh, like any of you guys watching this give a crap about where I used to live, but what about this house, the Connors house? You guys remember the Connors house? Want to see it again? Got it, yeah. Yep, that's it, you got it. That's the house used for the TV show, Roseanne. Pretty sweet. Love me some Evansville. I also had a chance to hook up with Julian Storm, uh, catch up about uh, life and reminisce about the old days at KISS FM uh, back when it got struck not once, but twice by lightning. Oh yeah, good times. But that was nothing compared to when Wiki uh, had that huge fire all those years ago. Fast forward to today, and Storm is the promotions director for WIKY, WABX, Hot 96, and Duke FM. In fact, she's going to take us for a tour of the facility. This just in. Let's start in the newsroom. We're here on air at 104 FM WIKY Midwest Broadcasting. Midwest and communications. communications, I apologize. This is the newsroom. Now, when I was at Wiki, the newsroom was downstairs, and they would have to run all the way upstairs to tell me something. Now, look at that. And look at these awards, man. Just run down the hallway. Really? Yes. All the way down the hallway? Just down the hallway. Okay, let's see. And then our good friend Dave Lyons. Oh. Is he not with us no more? No. He's such a sweetheart, though. He's, so, uh, he's a great person. I love Dave Lyons. I, I remember he's him. Great. So this is really and cool. And Randy Wheeler retired. So. Randy Wheeler did retire. Yeah. He was here forever. I think like a couple years ago. I think. It was. Really. Yeah. This so, is awesome. Yeah. But in our How down the hall? Over here. So you have news booths. Yeah, look. Yep. So look, this is, there's two <laughs> of these. So Storm can go in the other room and do <laughs> news over there, and then we can broadcast live in here. And then, hey, Storm. Hi. <laughs> These are cool. I remember these boards. These boards are all right. They're not terrible. They're good for the news booth. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you... Okay, Stormy G. I'm here. Hi, Stormy G. Hello. Hi. Okay, so Stormy G, uh, when you came here the first time, this is where you started. This is Duke yeah. FM. No, when I came here the second time. Second time, it was Duke this FM. This was... No. No. Okay, now why when don't I you tell me the real deal. I came here the second time, the it was 93.5 The Wolf. Okay. So we're 93.5 The Wolf, that's what it was. Right. So and this was my studio. I Look did at afternoons this here. So Look now it's 93.5 Duke FM. And I got to point out real quick, down there is the tower. Yes. <laughs> now it's what? It's really super tall. Wiki and I know ABX are on that tower, but yep. if you look closely at the bottom of it, and it's hard to do it with the screen, <laughs> um, you can see the old tower yes. outside of the new one because it got true. sucked up by a tornado. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> the orange part is the old tower. Isn't that crazy? Now, I do want to point out, as we enter 107.5 WABX, they went back to the old logo. When I was here, it was Classic Rock. It really rocks. Gotcha. I want to point something out. They're saying, you know, oh, is it going to do the legal ID? Okay, I can't wait to prove this wrong. In 13 <laughs> seconds, you will see why I'm so irritated Aww. with this. However, this board looks similar to the board I used to have. Tell us. Yes. We just got rid of ours because of this exact thing. Yeah. That and that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here we go. 7.5 WABX Evansville broadcasting live from the legendary rock penthouse. Bullshit! Penthouse! Bullshit! This is not the rock penthouse! Watch your mouth. I mean, still crap. 7.5 WABX Evansville. But you got a good view. But look, it's a great view. It's an amazing view. You can see all the way down to the river. I can see now, Kentucky from here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? This, okay, this is the old Wiki studio. Oh, this is where Wiki used to be. That's why I was thinking, wait a minute. Yeah, so you got the view of the river. Let me turn down the radio. Is there a radio in here? <laughs> this is what we need to get in our studio. A cough button and a talk back button. Oh, I know. Those are great. I love that. Mm -hmm. Look at this view. So there's 14 WFIE right there across the street. Yes. Next door. Mm -hmm. And then there's the river. You can actually see the river. Yeah, it's so cool. That's so neat. Wait a second, look, this is the way to the roof now. That's bullshit. There was a staircase. Watch your mouth. I mean, crap. <laughs> look at that, that looks really sharp. Isn't it nice? They did a really nice job yeah. with this. Engelbrecht did this before uh, mm -hmm. South Central sold it. Look at this, this, geez, this is like one of the nicest lobbies I've seen <laughs> ever. Look at that classic radio, tuned to Wiki. <laughs> So is that Wiki? That's Wiki. There it is. You gotta have Wiki as the, the big centerpiece. And then, of course, the news stories about the fire from Wiki. Oh, wow. Yep, from 1981. 
Holy crap. Mm hmm And then... I've never seen that. There's pictures of them broadcasting out of the truck. Isn't that oh, crazy? Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. This is so cool. I love me some... Okay, now I gotta point this out. Oh, first of all, there's a Pac-Man ghost there, which is pretty badass. So we're downstairs in the building, and I it took me a second to realize it. Matter of fact, let me come back here. When you walk down this hallway, it finally dawned on me that this is where Mark Baker, God rest his soul, used to sit. Now there's a bunch of flat screen computers and if you were to put all of these back to back to back to back to back, they would still be thinner than the monitor that was on Mark Baker's desk back in the 90s. I'm sure. And then this used to be news. What's back here, Storm? This is the jock lounge. Shut up. This is where the jocks come back and lounge? Well, some wow. of them. <laughs> it used to be more utilized when I was here the first time around. This is so cool. And then, and then back here is Donnie's production area. So... This is where all the clients come in to record. Oh, okay. And this is Donnie's domain, so he handles all the production. This is cool. I forgot about this. Oh, yeah. A nice little staircase to get from the basement up top. Look, it's still... Those are uh, still dying. <laughs> yeah. Boy, they take a long time to die. 20 years. Whew. Oh, what's this? What? Wait, is that... I that can't know. be what I think. Is that... What is what? Is that a leg lamp? That is a leg lamp, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, yeah, just want to make sure you see. It has a very tricky way to get the camera in there, but there it is hiding. <laughs> no one can know what's in here. Storm, let's hide it in this closet for all right. time. No one will know. Done. I, I don't, it's funky. Storm, it's a funky monkey. And the eyes follow you wherever you go. Oh my God, that's creepy. Stop it. Pennywise. It is. That monkey will hump my dreams and nightmares. And it'll hump your leg if you're not careful. <laughs> this is really cool to look at yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. That's a great view. Oh, not a great view. So sad. Oh. oh. A big thanks again to Stormy G for uh, showing us around at Midwest. Boy, what an amazing view of the Ohio River from the WIKY studios. The old Kiss Studios on Highway 41 didn't have uh, that nice view. That used to be Kiss FM right there. That window on the right was the old Kiss Studios. Kiss FM. Now it's a counseling center for all the DJs that used to work with Sandman. I smoked many a cigarettes on those steps right there. Wow. And right here on the end is the old Kiss Studio. Right there. Wow. Well. That wraps up another amazing trip to Evansville, Indiana. Uh, as I uh, depart the Lloyd Expressway and for the first time leave Evansville via I-69 for the entire duration of my trip home. Booyah. Um, I just want to say to all my friends in Evansville, man, it was awesome seeing you guys again. Thank you so much. Uh, to the new friends that I met at the bus convention and taco. <laughs> Boy, a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys again real soon. And... Uh, what better way to wrap up a road trip to Evansville, Indiana? I thought they went out of business because I couldn't find them anywhere. Noble Romans. Breadsticks, man. These are going to make it all the way to plant. Well, here we go. I'm technically in Warwick County now, so I've uh, exited Vandenberg County. I'm listening to Trish Knight on 107.5 WABX, Evansville's Classic Rock, as I uh, venture back to Flint Town. So I hope uh, everything is well with everybody. Have safe travels, happy times, and a good day, everybody. Good, good, good day. Okay, I love Evansville, Indiana. I gotta say that, first of all and foremost. I love Evansville. Why else do I keep going back? Um, I will say this though, getting there is kind of tricky. One of the things that makes uh, Evansville and Flint different, okay? Evansville is a much bigger city than Flint. It just does not have all of the suburbs that uh, make Genesee County so hugely populated. Is that the right word, hugely? Or we just used it, so let's go with it. Um, Evansville is 11 miles from end to end, east to west, I do believe, and then north to south, it's like, you know, I, I don't know the exact number. It's a big city, it just doesn't have the suburbs. All around it is nothing but cornfields. I mean, look around, nothing but cornfields. One of the problems that I had going uh, to Evansville was, by the time you got to Indianapolis, you can start to get tired, you know, halfway there, and then 
you're driving through nothing but flat cornfields. Nothing but flat cornfields. Which is pretty during the day, but at night it's pouring as hell. And even during the day, like once you've done it for a few minutes, like, all right. So they built I-69 finally from Evansville to Indianapolis. And I'm thinking to myself, sweet, this is gonna be nice. I had to go straight shot right there. And I was expecting something awesome, you know, like new, you know, shiny new thing. And it is shiny and pretty. And yes, I do like uh, having a straight shot. But there is nothing on I-69 out here. Nothing on I-69 out here. Like on the way down, in the middle of the night, uh, I got to Bloomington and I thought, well, I, 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 well, I just passed McDonald's because it was very poorly labeled. Um, I'll, I'll get a coffee at the next exit. You know what the next exit was? Evansville. Yeah, there, there was nothing open anywhere between Bloomington and Evansville. I mean, yeah, there were exits, but there was nothing there. So maybe that's what happens with people uh, from Evansville. They, they try to leave and go away from Evansville, but they get about 20 minutes out and they get so bored they have to go back. If I wasn't from Flint, I probably wouldn't have been able to leave either. I don't know, I'm just saying.